Hi, this video will introduce an important feature from Surfing Kings, the Chromium extension. The feature will integrate new Vim into Chromium, the browser, so that you can use new Vim to edit any input, a text input. Also, you can use Chromium as the front end of NeoVim. So let's Im import. Oh, so let's see how it works. <coughs> the first, we have some default shortcut semicolon V semicolon V to launch new Vim. Let's try that. Now you can see there is a error message. So to use new Vim, you first have new Vim version 0 0.5 or above installed on your computer. So let's try to install that. Here I have new Vim installed on my computer. And then let's see how to install enable the feature from extension. Here I have some basic instructions for how to install the ex this feature on and the windows <coughs> as uh, it is a little complex on windows which the installation for mac os or linux is a little easy easier so <coughs> the first step you must have to download a lua file from this location from well, actually just the the uh, GitHub report for Surfing Kings. And then you need to create a start batch file to invoke new Vim executable which will call the Lua file from last step. Then we will create a surfing case.json file. The file is used by Chromium or Google Chrome to invoke the batch file. In this JSON file, we have some uh, a lot of origins. The first one is the development version of Surfing Kings. And the second one is the product, or product version of the extension. And the name, the name is critical. It must be Surfing Kings or low case. And then the path. The path must uh, must be exact. If if there is anything wrong in this path, then Chromium will fail to launch new Vim. Then we will create a registry file. If you are using Google Chrome, the file content will be like this. If you are using Chromium, the file content will be like this. The only difference is the uh, path for the registry item. For Google Chrome, we have Google Chrome here. For Chromium, the path is Chromium. And then you 
need to double click the registry file to import it. So let's see how my configurations. Yes, the, for the for the files, you can put it anywhere on your computer. For my case, I put the files under this folder, my home directory. Then I created a, a hidden folder for the files. So if you, when you creating these files, you must pay attention to the parts of your files. Also the executable parts of new Vim. Now let's see my in installation. Here is just the, the file downloaded from GitHub. You do not need any modification in this file. And then the start batch file. Please pay attention to the parts of the executable, also the parts of the raw file. And then the JSON file. And then the registry file. Okay, then let's import the text tree file, sorry, the registry file into registry table. Okay. Okay, we can see the registry item for seven keys is here. It refers to the correct JSON file. Now let's restart Chromium. You can see the Chromium has launched new Vim. Here is just the front end UI for new Vim in browser. You can now. I I I just opened the configuration file for new Vim. I have some plugin installed for new Vim. I can comment it. Those selected file. Selected a nice out. And so I can use git command from plugin. So I can use need tree. Actually, it's just as you do in your command line new Vim or other new Vim GUI from the end. Then you can also use multiple tabs and switch between those tabs. So in this case, if you want to switch between the Chromium tabs, so how so you must switch out from new Vim first. How to you can use Alt I to uh, yeah, in this case, you just just came out from new Vim. Now you can use the the keys from the shortcuts from Surface Keys itself to switch Chromium tables. Now, if you want to go back to new Vim, just use I or Alt I. Yeah, this just a quick, quick way, a shortcut for you to switch, switch out from your Vim. 
Now let's see how to use new view on page for the text input. As Surfing Kids has already bind the control I to launch the Vim editor from the SE project, which is a built-in Vim editor. So you which does not depend on any other external program. So if you want to launch new Vim for text input, you we use another different binding. Control Alt I. So now you can see new Vim is launched and uh, we have some pop-up here. In this pop-up uh, the, the uh, in this pop-up we can just input anything as you do on your text editor or other Vim and then write. So now you have the text right back to the text input. You can also use Control I Alt Control Alt I to launch the new Vim again to modify modify this and then press enter. So this is the way to modify the text input on this page. We can also try how to modify the text area on this page. So here is the text area. Now <coughs> also you can use Control I, Control Alt I sorry, to launch the new Vim. And uh, you can also use another type to open another file and then copy the file content into this buffer then write it to back to the text area. You can also edit it. So that's the new Vim feature from Surfing Kings. I hope you will enjoy it. Thanks. Bye.